Yeah, we travelled uh, up to Washington um, recently to uh, be part of a conference which is the World Waterfront uh, Conference held annually. It's been going for 30 years and this year we were recognised uh, along with our peers. There were eight different uh, category winners and we were the top award winner. So that was uh, a fantastic recognition for Wynyard Quarter and Auckland Waterfront. Well, speaking to the judges, one of the things that really stood out for them was the authenticity of the waterfront and also the diversity along the whole Jellicoe Street area, uh, capturing the theatre of the fishing boats uh, and bringing in new activities. So that was uh, a fantastic recognition uh, for Wynyard Quarter and Auckland Waterfront. The Promenade and Cycleway was the one project that really captured the imagination of all Aucklanders. And it's our opportunity to start a passage which will extend from Harbour Bridge and ultimately could extend right the way through to St Heliers. The first part of it though will focus on the end around West Haven and the link through to Daugherty Street Linear Park. Daugherty Street's the next major project kicking off in Wynyard Quarter. Construction uh, starts February 2013. Ultimately it's going to link Headland Public Space through to Victoria Park. Uh, and in the short term it's going to provide an important link through from Jellicoe Street to Pakenham Street and on to Fanshawe Street. Well Queen's Wharf is, uh, is really the People's Wharf. It sits at the bottom of Queen Street and for so many years it was uh, ignored and so it's really great to be able to uh, unlock its potential again and share it with uh, all of Auckland. So people will see the kiosk with uh, the information at the, uh, at the base of the wharf and of course we've got a busy uh, program of activities around the cloud and for the next few months Shed 10 is being refurbished for uh, the cruise industry but also it's going to be used for events. So recognising that Queen's Wharf is very much uh, a combination of both public space but also provides for commerce in Auckland. Uh, what we're doing with the next and final phase of refurbishing Shed 10 is making sure that Aucklanders will be able to welcome visitors to the city arriving by cruise ship in an appropriate way. Uh, but there's still plenty of opportunity for people to come right down to the end of the wharf and enjoy uh, what is uh, quite a unique uh, environment and setting uh, to take in and be really sitting uh, at the centre of the harbour. Well the placemaking activities for the waterfront are a really key part of what we do. It's about providing all Aucklanders and visitors to Auckland an experience that they will remember. And this has been a key part of our success. And so the ongoing program around activation and uh, place management is set to bring a whole new range of experiences this summer. So expect to see more uh, cinema in the evenings, markets during the day, activities for the kids. Playground's been hugely successful and we're adding a little bit of sun protection so that it's a place that the kids will enjoy and uh, parents too can feel comfortable and, and relaxed and uh, just take in the, the vistas out over the water and, and enjoy the experience.